Hello! In this video I'll be looking at different ways of setting targets within Scrivener. There are a few different methods for setting targets but the main way is by going to view statistics show project targets or by pressing shift command T. The target box will allow us to set two targets. The first is the draft target. This is a target that you'll be aiming to reach for your entire draft folder. Note that the draft target could just as easily be denoted as manuscript target. It depends entirely on your naming convention within the binder. By default, this live total includes all the text documents within your draft area. The documents included in draft only tick box provides us with a way of excluding from this target documents that are in the draft folder but which won't necessarily be part of the final manuscript. We can choose to remove the tick from the document specific include in draft tick box within the inspector for text documents that we do not want included when we compile our final manuscript. So checking documents included in draft only will ensure that these documents are not included in the target count. You probably noticed the live word counts changing as we initially toggled the ticks. In order to specify a target for my draft folder, I simply click here and type my target. If I was doing NaNoWriMo for example, I would set this value to 50,000 words. For a regular novel, I might set it to 100,000 words. As you can see, the draft target can easily be switched between words or characters, as in some countries it is more common to count characters than words. The second target in the target box is a session target. This counts the word and character count for anything typed since opening the Scrivener project up until I close it. The count can also be reset at any time by pressing the reset button. If I was to take Stephen King's advice given within on writing, I might be aiming for 2000 words a day or per session. The session target actually currently includes anything written or deleted within my entire project. Not just my draft or manuscript folder, but within research too. Scrivener 2.0 will offer more control over this feature, allowing the target to be limited only to the draft folder. If I start typing or copying and pasting, you can see both the live word counts for the manuscript and session targets increasing. If I type something in a document outside of my draft folder, you will notice that only my session count changes. If you want to set targets on a document basis, this can also be done. Simply click the document target button at the right of the footer bar. Note that if the target button is missing, you may be in script writing mode. Go to text, script writing, script mode, screenplay, or press command three to toggle modes. Once again, we can choose whether we want our target to be words or characters. Then simply state the document target. Once a target has been specified, you will see a progress bar appear at the right of the footer bar. You will notice that the live footer word count now also states the document target. As you can see, the progress bar continues to increase until I achieve the target, and then the target goes from red to green. If I am in edit scrivenings mode with two or more documents, all with a defined target, then the live word count in the footer bar will reflect the combined target goal. The outliner also gives us an opportunity to view document targets. If I go here, I can add target and target type information along with my current word count. I can even see my relative progress for each document. That concludes our tutorial video on targets within Scrivener. I hope you have found it useful. Goodbye.